What is this? Is this art? That was a question that was asked a lot. I guess I was more interested in questioning how art functions. And so I guess I always gravitated towards art that was somehow functional. A lot of my works are untitled. It's kind of an open-ended situation. There is a certain kind of liberty to that. The audience were invited to, to sit on the work, um, to lie on there. Some people took their afternoon naps on it. Um, with each of the pillows, I'd, I'd made paintings also. So kind of somehow bridging the gap. They didn't feel that kind of distance with the art. Most of the fabrics I've been using for the last 20 years of my work has come from very popular prints, I would say from the 60s, 70s, all the way up to the 80s maybe in Taiwan. Textiles are something quite intimate. Especially these textile designs were mostly used as the wedding night bed. They were given by the wife's family as part of the dowry. I discovered that the audience had a very immediate kind of reaction to the patterns. It was important that it was familiar to the people that saw them. And in general, most people um, have a real kind of nostalgia. And so I started to focus more on that idea of, you know, using this collective memory of the past as a vehicle to kind of have some sort of dialogue about art and exhibition um, with the audience. Untitled Cigarette Break was a kind of attempt to make work that the audience really had to be in contact with. If you sat in the chair and the art retained the trace of your interaction and your physical body with it, you know, smoking or blowing out smoke is kind of a visualization of your breath. It's also a form of relaxation. It's also a kind of break from, from a routine. So I think those are, are all communicated in what's there. And then the paintings then become some sort of space. There are five paintings in this work and they relate directly to the five cushions that make up a chair. So it's this kind of expansion or this kind of macro-micro relationship. For me it was about somehow creating a space rather than an object. The work doesn't end at the object. It was to make work that was difficult to somehow see the edges of the work so that you were immersed or you were in the work or part of the work. We're doing something that's completely um, outside of the exhibition experience. And I think that that was a provocation. <laughs>